Link rot is the phenomenon where you visit a URL and either there's nothing there at all or you get like a 404 error or something like that, which basically just means the content is no longer at that address. It's surprisingly common and I come across this, you know, a dozen times a day. This happens in the most prestigious of news sources and journals and just makes it impossible to track down that one piece of information that you really wanted to read. Link rot affects literally every publication that has web citations of any sort. Um, however, one study that really shocked me was 50% of Supreme Court rulings have link rot in them. So they'll have like reference sections um, that either link back to previous rulings or outside sources. And um, half of those in the US Supreme Court's rulings are dead. Um, so you can't track back how they got to their conclusions, which when you think about it in a democracy is super important. Super important to be able to say, okay, well I, I can see how they made this choice and this therefore is how we can predict future rulings will go in this area. So link rock can happen for loads of different reasons. Most of them are simply administrative, honestly. So something like a domain name is changed or a site um, like reorganizes its site map. So it just organizes things a bit differently and anyone elsewhere on the internet ever who's linked to that original domain, for example, all of their links rot instantly. And um, one study did a longitudinal analysis over 20 years and they found that I believe it was 98.4% of links died over 20 years. So imagine to the web today, it's just simply in large part not going to be available. And especially for things that rely on research, fact checking, um, things like that is, uh, is a really big problem. When you store something on the traditional web, there is no unique identifier um, that you can use forever that will find that piece of data. However, with the perma web, every piece of information uploaded has uh, an identification code so you can use that identification code always to find that piece of information. So for example, at the moment, um, if you find like a piece of information that you'd like to store forever, you can simply use our web extension, the Arweave web extension, and you can just archive it. Um, then that gives you automatically that unique identifier. Then all you need to do is click one button with the web extension and it's there, it's done. You don't need to worry about it anymore.